Okay, good. So have you uploaded it here yet or no? No. Okay, perfect. So let's just let's just upload it here just like you would anything else. This is where and this is how how you would upload every ad. So as we move forward, this is this is really our second ad. We ran the like ad. Now we got a few thousand likes. Now now we're going to run this first ad and this one's going to be local. So from this point on every ad is local. And this is how you want to do it. So whether it's a your seller guide that you're going to be offering or a buyer guide, whatever, or, or this intro video, every ad, it, it goes on the business page first. So, so it becomes a post and then we come back and run the ad. Okay. okay. So, so right here, this is perfect, man. This is perfect. This is the type of video, man, that's going to, that's going to really get a lot of attention. Just simple, basic cell phone on your, you know, selfie style. This is what you want to stick to. And, and I just see many, many agents all the time, man. They try to get a professional camera crew and make it look too damn good. But, but you want to keep it simple like this. So what we want to do first is we want to we're, – we're uploading it now. And then the, um, the details – Go actually, yeah, go in right there where it says um, tags. Do you see anything above, above tags? Can you scroll up a little? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, so – so the title is what, in fact, you know what, open up, open up another tab and go to Facebook again. So leave this, leave this like this, but, but open up another tab and go back to Facebook and go to your newsfeed. I'm going to show you what it, what it, what it looks like when, 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 when it's an actual ad. So scroll down. Right. So right here, perfect example. So this is an image, but, but it could be an, it could be a video as well. It's the same thing. So the title, go back to the other tab. So the other Facebook tab that you have open right there, the top, it says title that whatever you write right there. So go back to the other one. That title is actually, it's not the title. It's kind of miss, miss it's misinformation because is this the title? yeah, it's that part right there. So, so that's how much room you have right there at the bottom of the video. So it's, that's where the title is going to be at the bottom. So right here, it's just something simple, you know, you're just introducing yourself. You're, you're letting your local area know who you are. A simple, you know, hello, hello, you know, this could be whatever the hell you want to write, but a lot of the times clients will write something like, um, here's a quick introduction of me. I am your local realtor. Or, or some clients will write um, a little bit about me, um, a little bit about me and, and how excited I am to be your local realtor. You know, something like that, something basic. Um, and that's the title. And then, and then the description could be something similar. You know, here's a little bit about me and my background, my experience, and why I love helping people buy and sell real estate in the Tampa Bay area or whatever you may want to put, you know, whatever city you're, you're, you're servicing. But something short, sweet, and, and simple is, is what you'd put there. So, um, and, and when you do this, the, again, this is going to be the ad. So right when we post it here, whatever we write, it has to be e exact because when we go and run the ad right now in five minutes, when we go and run the ad, we can no longer change it. We can no longer okay. change the text or the title. So right here, it's kind of good that we do it together. That way I can, you know, I can, I can, I can walk you through it because you won't be able to change the words, you know, later. So we just write something simple right now. Um, whatever you want to write, man. Like I would put something like, um, like, um, let, what city are you servicing? Wesley Chapel. Okay, Wesley Chapel. Okay, so, um, I would put something like, um, and how long have you been licensed? Uh, since two thousand and five, man. But okay. in Ohio, I, mean, okay. I started in Ohio. So. so fifteen years, fifteen years, going on sixteen years. Okay. Um, I would put, I would put something like, um, something like, um, shit, let me think, um, a little bit about me, a little bit about me, your local realtor or your local real estate broker, or a little bit, here's a little bit about my experience serving the Wesley chapel when it comes to buying and selling real estate or something like that. Um, there's so much shit you can, there's so many different variations you can, you can put, but, um, Here's a little bit about me and why I'm so excited to help people. Is that on the title? Here's a little bit about me. Yeah, just put that. Here's a little bit about me. Here's a little bit about me. 
And then and here, yeah, here is a, here is a little a little about me. Yeah, capital. Here is a little bit of a little a little bit. Here is a little bit. B I T. Yeah, here is a little bit about me. And then I would put the dot dot dot. Here's a little bit about me. And then and then in the description, you could put something like, um, just wanted to say hello and introduce myself. I am your local realtor, and here's why I'm excited about servicing the Wesley Chapel area when it comes to buying and selling residential real estate or something like that. Um, just wanted to say hello and introduce myself. And I would put, I would put, just wanted to say hello and introduce myself. My name is, and here's a little bit about me and why I'm so excited about helping people buy and sell real estate in Wesley Chapel or something like that. Um, just wanted to say hello and introduce myself. My name is, and then um, here, just wanted to say hello and introduce myself. Here's a little bit about me. We'll just, we'll just say it again. Here's a little bit about me and why I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, that's fine right there. Here's a little bit about me. Here's a little bit about me and why I'm so excited to help people in the Wesley Chapel area buy and sell real estate. Simple. Uh, and, and why I'm so excited to help people buy and sell real estate in Wesley Chapel. Or um, here's a little bit about me and why I'm so excited to help people buy or sell real estate in, 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 in the beautiful city of Wesley Chapel or something like that in, in Wesley Chapel. Yeah, in the Wesley Chapel area. Perfect, man. That's it. Simple. So just wanted we to say hello. Any tags? What's that? We have to add any tags or anything? Um, not really, because it's an ad. So we're already going to target a specific local area. So the tags aren't really important, but you you can. Um, and there's not too many. Like you could put whatever tag, but I like to put the tags that are already. Uh, I, was, I was just asking. Yeah, like yeah, that's not not important. If you're just posting randomly, then yes, it, it could pop, probably help, but not if you're running an ad. I mean, we're already going to target that area. So so over to the right hand side, click on thumbnail. So you can change the thumbnail, and and that would be um, images from. So go ahead and and scroll. Let's see if you could scroll down. Do you see, or maybe up or down to the left? Where's that? Um, you should see. You should see the video. Um, Let's see, did it already upload? Go ahead and hit next. Let's just see if it uploaded and then we can come back and edit. Just hit the next button. I don't think yeah, go ahead you know. and publish now. And then and then it might take a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. So now it's processing, and then when it's done, then we can um we can choose the thumbnail. So go ahead and try refreshing the page and let's just see if it's if it's already there. And depending on how long it is. It, it could take a few minutes, but it should it should be here soon. Click on uh, more right there at the top. You see more, and then click on videos and see it's if it's right there, right there to the to the left of the blue button, the promote. You see the more. Actually, to the right, it's right there in the in the middle. It says more, and then that's the drop down. Oh, right here. Yeah. So click on more and then go to videos. See if it's over here. Okay, so go ahead and um, scroll down just a little bit, and then let's just go ahead and, and go ahead and refresh the page. See if it's um, see if it's here after you refresh it. Okay, so how long is the video? It's like a minute something. Yeah, it'll be here. It'll be here soon. Okay, so then, um, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and um, go ahead and click on it, and then we're gonna edit. We'll get, we'll, and that's a good thumbnail. The way it looks right there, that's actually really good already. But let's just click the three dots at the top, right? Right there um, next to the, yeah, perfect. So click on that and go to edit, edit video. And then um, over here, then let's choose thumbnail. Just in case, there, we'll, we'll just look, see if there's a different one that you may like. So click on that thumbnail, and then, and then you'll be able to scroll to the left or right and, and choose, you know, whichever one. And that's just something that someone sees, you know, for, for a split second. It's not even a big deal. 
but but it's it's something that they see right away and then and then the video automatically plays um so to see if you can and there's actually a little arrow but you have the you have the dark mode but if you look above um if you go up a little bit up actually to the right so right above yeah right there there's like those arrows where you can move to the right it's actually what, right, right there right there perfect so you can move to the right oh, and, see. and see all of them yeah so choose choose whichever one they all look i mean they all look good they all look the same kind of so see if you can find one that one's fine yeah that's perfect perfect okay. it is fine. Yeah, that's good. So go ahead and hit save. And then that's, that's, that's it, man. So what I normally do also is um, go ahead and X out of this. What I do on the, on the intro video is I'll pin it. So we'll pin it. So click on home, go back to the home right there on your page on the business page. No, not that one, the home below. Yeah, right there. So go ahead and um, click on that. And then it should be over here. But what, what is good because it's an intro video, let's go ahead and pin it. So that way, when people come to the page, it's the first thing that they see right away. So go ahead and pin this one. Yeah, pin to top of page. Perfect. So um, go ahead and refresh the page, and then it'll be it'll be right there at the top. And you can always unpin it, but for right now, it'd be good to pin it. Okay, cool. So there it is there. So that's a really good one, man. Really, really good one. So that right there is how simple you want to keep your videos man that's simple holding the phone background and then and then as you as you move into more because the next ad this is going to be the only ad that is not a lead capture ad every ad that i teach you after this is going to be to capture leads but this one is to capture your audience so okay so as you as we go and set up the ad right now we're going to target a local area and in that local area, there may be, and we're going to look at the numbers, but I'm going to give you an example right now and, and what to expect and how to look at this and, and, and the strategy behind this one ad. Let's say, for example, when we set up the ad and we target Wesley Chapel, let's just say there's 100,000 potential reach, 100,000 people in that audience, 100,000 people in that area that, that can potentially see the ad. Because we're going to see that number. We're going to see whether it's 50,000, 200,000, whatever. We're going to see that number. Facebook's going to give us that number. But I'm telling you exactly the strategy here. Let's say there's 100,000 people in that, in that area that we could potentially target. The reason for this ad is to run it to that group. But as we run it to that group, not all 100,000 people are going to see it. And, and that's also based on the budget. So it all, it's also based on how much we're spending, which we're not even going to spend a lot on this. But it's all about how much you're spending to even reach that amount. But it, based on what we're spending, let's say five bucks a day or whatever, whatever we want to spend, let's say only, let's say only 10,000 people end up watching it. But out of the 10,000 people, it's a 56 second video. Let's say out of the 10,000 people that watch it, only 4,000 watched it for 56 seconds. So only 4,000 people watched the entire thing that 4,000 becomes our audience. So that 4,000 is who we want to show our next ad, show our next ad, show our next ad. We want to keep getting in front of those people because they watch the whole damn thing. Or, or let's just say even 30 seconds. We'll create an audience and that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to run the video and then we're going to create an audience. We're going to set up the audience of those who actually watch 30 seconds because not everyone's going to watch the whole thing. But if someone sits there and watches at least 30 seconds, that's a good person. That's someone that, that you caught their attention. You actually made them stop their scroll and they sat there and watched it for 30 seconds. That's a good, that's a good person that I want to get back in front of, especially if they live around the block. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. this right here, the whole objective with this is to find our audience, is to find the 4,000 people that actually sit there and watch it because that's a group of people that we want to keep showing future ads to. Make sense? Yep. And, and I'm going to show you how to set all that up right now. So, so perfect. So the video is there. So now let's go to the ads manager. So let's go, let's go to, the, to the Facebook ads manager and let's go run this ad. We're going to run the ad and then we're going to also set up the audience. We're going to, now the audience doesn't exist yet, but we're going to set it up. So, so Facebook can start putting everyone in that audience that actually watch it. So yeah, let's open up a new tab and let's just simply go to um, the, you can go to business manager um, or right there. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. We'll go to ads manager, ads manager right there. 
Okay. okay, perfect. So from here, we're going to simply click on the dots right there at the top, and we're going to go to the ads manager. Perfect. Okay, cool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the ad, target our local area, and then we're going to also create and set up the custom audience of those who watch it. Um, so we always, as we navigate through here, so you have one new task. Okay, that's fine. You could just X out the red bar right at the top. So as you come back here, you always want to make sure you're in the right account because sometimes Facebook will always have you yeah. accounts. So homes and towns, that's the one we're running out of homes and towns. So go ahead and click on the green button, create, and we're going to simply start this one from, from scratch. So this right here is the most important, man, the most, most important. And, and I truly believe after speaking to thousands and thousands of, of, of real estate agents and just business owners, this is where everyone gets it wrong. They, you can have the best video, you can have the best ad, you can write the best text, you can have the best targeting, you're targeting the, the best demographics and your local area, you know all that, it's, it's, it's all set up good. But if you don't choose the right objective here, none of that shit matters. You know, so, so this right here is the most important, man. All we're ever going to really be running is this one video under video views, and then every ad after this will be conversions. Okay, the conversions, that's for lead capture. So in this case, all we're gonna do is capture video views. That's all we want. So let's go with that one. And this is gonna just show the, show the ad to people that are gonna watch it. And so right here, the drop down, name your campaign. Go ahead and click on that drop down, the arrow, name your campaign. Yeah, so right here, if you scroll down, these are the three tabs. So just like you have in the background, you have these three tabs, the campaign, the ad set and the ad. These are your three sections, the three steps. So just like in the background, you these are the three tabs. So all I do is I name it. You always want to get very good at, at naming it. So you know, just like you name the other ones. So this one right here, intro video. That's what this is, intro video. What I'll always do is I'll always give my video some type of name. And then, and then in parentheses, I'll simply put the type of ad we're running, which is the objective. So in this one, I'll put intro video right there in the campaign intro video. And then in parentheses, I'll put video views. So in parentheses, you always want to put what type of ad that is just like you did on the, on the other one, you put lead gen. So that's perfect. So video views. Okay. And then the ad set, what I do in the ad set is I'll normally put the city that I'm targeting. So right there in the ad set. So is it Wesley chapel? Perfect. And then the ad, the third one, you could just put the, the same as the top. So intro video, video views. You could just copy and paste that one. That's the same thing. Intro video, video views. Perfect. So I'll always name it right there um, just to get that part out the way, the titling, because the titling of each step of each tab, that's what I call those campaign, ad set, ad. I call those tabs because that's what's in the background. You have those, those tabs. So um, it's very, very important to very to always be detailed when you're when you're titling this because as you have a shitload of ads running just like you do in the background, you always want to be able to read it and know exactly what what ad that is. So that's perfect. This is enough. So go ahead and hit continue the blue one. And then and then now we'll go over to the next section where you'll just simply put the the special ad category. You'll hit that drop down and then you'll um you'll choose housing. And then if you scroll down, you should see the campaign budget optimization, which is off. So you can just leave that one off. That's perfect. And then next. So that's the first tab. And then we're going to go into the second tab, which is the ad set. And this is where we choose the budget and the targeting and all that. So you can go on the video views. What I normally do is I'll go, I'll go lifetime budget. So the daily budget, change that drop down and go to lifetime. And it's the same, it's the same budget, whatever you want to do. Now, in this case, the way you want to look at this budget is you want to, you want to, you want to look at your, your budget overall monthly. Like what, what do we plan on spending monthly, right? You want to, you want to start thinking of that number. You don't have to know that number exactly right now, but you want to start budgeting monthly and look at it monthly. And, and you, and what I highly recommend is you want to be at a minimum, at least minimum of $10, $10 a day, which would be 300 a month total like you minimum not right here that's not what you're going to spend on this but um but i'm just giving you an example like what you want to do when you start running ads because this is our first ad and so you want to look at it weekly so if we're running if we're running a weekly ad 
And every week we have a new ad going every week. Sometimes, sometimes you may not have to put a new one out sometimes. And, and again, this is just the video views, but when we go to the next ad, that's when we start running conversions and that's for leads. That's when we're going to get the seller guide and start capturing leads. That's on our next ad. But what I'm trying to say is that I want you to look at it for ads. So if we're running four ads, one every week and our monthly budget is 300. So that means that every ad every week is $75. Yeah. $75 a week per ad. So every week, right? So that's how you want to kind of look at this. If this is going to be our first ad of four, then maybe we go, maybe we run this for seven days and, and run it at $75 budget because we have three other ads that we're going to run right after this. And that's our 300 for the month. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so do I still leave it a lifetime budget? Yes. You want to go lifetime budget and put it, put $75. And then all you're going to do is change the calendar. So today with today being the 29th, I always set it for the next day. So go May, go March 30th and you're going to go 6 a.m. So it's always the next day at 6 a.m. Okay. So, so that way, that way you give Facebook the entire day to review this ad and then it goes live tomorrow. And then okay. the end, the end time, the end uh, day and time, that's going to be seven days later. So, so from the 29th, to the um to the first or actually no not the first the 29th to the is it the is it the fifth yeah the fifth perfect and then just change the time as well the end time 6 a.m for everything 6 a.m 6 a.m so that goes from the 30th to the fifth perfect and then um so that's the budget so scroll down and all we're gonna do now is simply um um Go go a little lower and just go ahead and choose the um the location. And see, so right here, let me let me explain this part right here real quick. Custom audiences. Have you set up any custom audiences in the past? Uh, no. Okay. So just like I'm, I I I I mentioned a few minutes ago about about this one video. Our whole objective is to is to find the few thousand who actually watch it. And that becomes our audience. That becomes our custom audience. That becomes the group of people that we want to keep showing more ads to. Once we're done with this ad, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom audience around everyone who watches this one video. So as we go into our second ad, that right there, the custom audience, that's where you're going to choose this audience. So if you click on right there, search existing audiences, if you click inside the box, you'll see a drop down. Once we create it, you're not going to see it right now. Actually, look, you have one right there, cash buyer video. So, so we're going to go create one after this and, and we're going to name that one intro video. And that one, you're going to see that right there in the drop down. It's going to say intro video, 25% intro video. And now we can choose that audience and retarget them for our second, third, fourth, fifth, every ad after this, you're going to always want to put that audience right there. Okay. Okay. So. So quick question. Yes. As we run uh, all these ads, um, do you usually just send them to the people that watch on the video, the custom audience, or is there a way to just add, you know, um, have those people watch it and also like any others who yes. might be interested? Yes. Good question, man. Very good question. We're going to add the audience there. And we're going to still continue to target Wesley Chapel. Okay. Okay. So we're, going to, we're going to continue to show more people for sure. All the time, more people, more people, more people. But we're always going to show it to the previous audience in the custom audience. Okay. Okay. So, so both. Yeah, both. We're going to target both. Not just one. We're going to target both. So, yeah, good question. So, right now, no custom audience. And then we'll change the location. Go ahead and take out the United States and just put Wesley Chapel. And then... um. You can just X out. If you hover over United States, you can just scroll to the right and then you'll, you'll see the X. So just, or the edit. Um, actually, you go up a little bit, you, you passed it. Okay, so right United States locations, right above, just change out um, the United States. So up. Oh, right here. Yeah, so go ahead and okay. edit that and, and let's take out 
let's take out the United States, X out to the right, just X it out, and then just type in type in your city. And and also, yeah, that's very good, very very important right there. People there because this right here matters. You have to choose the right one all the time right here because then you'll spend more money than you need to. So in this case, we want to go people living in this location. Not recently, not traveling, you know, people living in this location. So go ahead and type it in there. And you always want to go with the drop down. So make sure you always find that drop down. And that 15 miles, you can you can just dominate that 15 mile radius, or you can change the, the radius, the mile is. But whatever no, fine. perfect. Always leave it at 15. If you're gonna leave it at 15, always leave it at 15. That way you continue to build that audience in that in that one radius alone. That's all you need. So age, you cannot change. Gender, you cannot change. Um, what we can do in the detailed targeting, I would leave it open. Don't even don't even put any any keywords in in the targeting. A lot of people try to put you know all these different keywords. You really don't need to because the audience the, the location is already small enough. You know it's it's good to put it's good to put maybe all these different keywords when you're running ads across the country or when you're running ads maybe around the world. But if I'm targeting just one city. Just don't even put any keywords right there. So scroll down. We're going to leave it on automatic placements. What you can do on the languages, and this is this is something you'll want to you'll you'll want to you know play with in the future and 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 test because with the languages you could target just just Hispanics and just go after nothing but Spanish, or you can or and and, and if you're not going to target just Spanish, what I would do is I I change the languages. Go ahead and change the language, and at least put. You know what what I would do is I'd put at least right here. Yeah, right there. If the video's in, in English, then then you want to put English right there. So go, go ahead and edit, click on edit, and, 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 and put, put English, put English. And again, if that video was in Spanish, then you're going to come over here and put Spanish. Go go English all, English all. So so X that out and, 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 and click on the English all. So you'll see right there at the top, English all. Go, go that one right there, all. Perfect. So that, that's what you always want to do, depending on the language of the video. So English all for sure. Um, and then scroll down. So you're going to leave it automatic. Go ahead and leave that as is, and then scroll down. And then we're, we're pretty much good with this one. So that's the second step. That's the second step, choosing the, the city, choosing the budget and choosing the, the calendar, letting, letting Facebook know when to run that ad. And I choose the calendar just so I don't forget the ad is on, you know what I mean? Cause I don't want to spend way more than I need to, you know what I mean? So I want to make sure that that ad turns off, you know, on a certain time. That's why the calendar is so important. So go ahead and click okay. the blue one. And that's it. That's that's the second. Oh, on this one, we don't do anything on this one. No, you're gonna leave it recommended. You're gonna leave it automatic placement. A lot of times, watch if you click on manual, click on manual. You can click on manual, and you can tell Facebook where to show the ad, right? But you don't need to do that because with with video, especially with video views, all we're trying to do is get as many people to watch it as possible. Um, and Facebook, they're very very good at showing that showing that video on the right on the right placement, wherever it's going to get the most engagement. So we just leverage Facebook, use Facebook rather than us trying to manually do it ourselves. So automatic placement is what you want to do for sure. So scroll down and then just hit next. And that's it. That's it for the second step. And then, and then the third one, all we're going to do is simply grab the post that we just put on the page. So all you're going to click on here is you're going to make sure that that's the correct business page, the Facebook page with which that that's the right one. And then add setup. All you're going to do is click on create ad and you're going to hit the drop down and go to use existing post. So right there, create ad, hit the drop down. Yeah, right there. Use existing post. So this is what you'll want to do for, for all your ads this moving forward. And the reason why I do it this way, we put it on the business page first and then we come over here and run the ad is because this specific ad is going to end in seven days, right? Even if it was 10 days, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's going to end. And when it ends, because you're spending money on it, we might as well leave it on the page so people can see it in the future, right? Like that's why I put it on the business page first. A lot of times people don't do it that way. They'll just come over here and create the ad and then they'll upload the video from their computer right here and then they just run the ad. But when the ad is off, so is the post. It's nowhere to be found. And if you're going to spend money on it, you might as well let it, let it live on the page forever. You know what I mean? So 
That's why I do use existing posts. So go ahead and click on select post. Click on um, right there with the red triangle. Yeah, you can go there. Or you can actually, yeah, right there, select, select post. Perfect. So click on that one. And then you'll just simply find that no. one. Yep, right there. And then just click on continue. And that's it. So now that we have the post here, we can no longer change the title. We can no longer change the text. And so all we want to do right here with the call to action button, it's not going to be a lead ad or even a message. Because this is not a lead ad or a send message ad, we can still put a call to action button, but that's not really going to be clicked on. But go ahead and choose it anyways. Click on add button and just go send message. We'll just, we'll just put a send message here. Um, Click on the add button, right um, right where it says call to action. Little down, call to action, and then you see add button. Down, little lower, right there. So so in the future, in the future, go ahead and click on, um, yeah, click on, click on that one, and then you'll see the different options. So learn more, book now, all these different options. In the future, it's always going to be learn more. So from your second ad and on, it's always going to be learn more. But this one's going to be send message. So go ahead and update post, and then and then that's it. So you don't need to put anything else because a lot of times people aren't even going to click on that button because it's strictly video views. So um, scroll down and make sure that everything else there's nothing else to click on below. We're good here. Um, and then you can you can you can you can edit the start conversations, but again, most are not going to even click on that because it's not a click ad. It's a video view ad. So we don't have to worry about that. So go ahead and click on publish. And then once you publish it, what you can do now, now it goes into review and then Facebook will email you later on. Once the ad approves, which it'll, it'll for sure approve, but once it approves, you'll get an email from Facebook and they'll just let you know that it's scheduled to run, you know, tomorrow. But once you publish it, then you can, once it's finishing the publishing three of three, then you can click on that, um, that drop down in the, in the right. So right there, right where it says preview on in the top right, that blue dot preview on right below that, right below that, don't click on the dot, but to the right below the preview on, there's that box, that drop down. So right oh, this there, one. Yeah. yeah. So if you click on that and then you just scroll down, click on the drop down, and then you go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed, you can just see a quick view of what it looks like as it, as it, as it goes live. So click on that. And it'll just bring you to the news feed, and this is what it's going to look like in real time. So if you scroll down, um, you'll see you'll see it right below this one. There it okay. is. Okay. So that's a live live picture. So that right there, man, I'm telling you, if you can keep doing that, bro, you're going to do really, really good, really, really good. And so, so just a quick a quick tip for the second ad. So again, this is video views. We're going to find the audience, and then we retarget that audience with the second ad and on. But as you start thinking about your second ad. Because what you really want to do is you want to get in the habit. And, and again, sometimes we may not have to run that next ad right away. Now, now, we do in this case because the next ad is a lead ad. But what I'm saying is from ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, sometimes you may not have to go every week a new ad. Because maybe maybe week two, maybe maybe that first conversion ad is actually bringing, bringing leads and, and, and is bringing a good amount of leads. So you don't need to run the next ad right away. Right. That's how, that's how it's going to be sometimes. Maybe, maybe by the time we're on week three, that ad is doing so well where it's bringing you leads. You may not have to run the next video ad for week four, but what I want you to do, because trust me, man, when I tell you this, I've seen it more, more, this, this is the biggest problem with everyone. The biggest, biggest problem with everyone. It's not knowing how to run an ad. It's not, well, a lot of people don't know how to run ads, but, but even as you learn it, that's not going to be your issue knowing how to run it. That's not going to be the problem. Your problem, which is what everybody's problem is, where everyone drops the ball and everyone everyone just kind of, you know, fails is the fact that they lack the consistency of putting out video. Okay. So so they may be hot, they put three videos now and then four videos, but by the time the fifth video they never put it out. Right? So and that's for whatever reason. Life life happens, people get busy, I get it. But this is our marketing. This is our business. This has to be top priority. So what I'm saying is every week you may not have to run another ad because the other ad is already doing good. But I still want you to build the discipline and get in the habit of making a new video every seven days regardless. That video should go on the business page no matter what. Again, we may not have to run that ad right away because the other ad's already doing well. 
but the video is on the page, ready to be ran whenever the hell we want to run it. And, and that's going to build you the mindset and the discipline and, and build you a good habit of making a new video because, again, that's where everyone misses it. What what uh these videos that you um that you recommend uh yes uh recording uh is it about anything or no, no. Specific? no good question so so this is what I'm trying to say and 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 trying to explain the the strategy for the next one as well so as we run the next ad the second ad the third ad the fourth ad and we we go on every video is going to be very simple like this one on your cell phone and you're talking about one topic and that's going to be the topic of selling. So, so you're a listing agent. You're now educating people on what it takes to sell. So the way I want you to kind of look at it and the way I kind of want you to strategize it is imagine this, imagine, imagine if my wife and I, let's say I lived in Wesley chapel, you're out there in Wesley chapel. Let's say my wife and I, we have a home in Wesley chapel and, and we owned it for the last seven years. And let's say, for example, I call you and I say, Hey bro, my wife and I were planning on moving. Like we're thinking about moving. We just we're, were a little nervous because, you know, we never sold a house before and, 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 and we don't know exactly what it takes. And you're, you've been my friend for a long time now. So do you think you and I and my wife, you think we can sit down this weekend and maybe have some coffee? And do you think you can maybe kind of walk me through what you would do to help me sell my house? Like that right there dream call that that's a dream call for you first of all those are the calls that you just wait for right a listing appointment of course then <laughs> right that's the best call you can get right that's the best call so imagine if i called you and i said that you would tell me you would say david for sure bro let's sit down this weekend we'll have coffee i'll tell you everything i can do in my brokerage i'll tell you all the shit we can do to help you market and sell this house fast i want you to imagine this so we sit down for coffee and you talk to me for a half an hour, 45 minutes. You could probably talk to me for an hour and tell me all this shit that you can do to help me sell my house. With all that knowledge you have, man, with all that knowledge that you would give me, I want you to now think of it in many videos. So if okay. there's 20 different ways that you can help me sell my house, if there's 10 different ways that you can help me sell my house, okay, well then shit. Those are 10 one minute, those are 10 one minute videos. So now all you're going to do is give me, give me tips. So if you have 10 different ways to sell a house, give me, give me one tip in a one minute video. And then at the end of that video, Hey guys, I got nine other tips that I put together in a 2021 seller guide. Click learn more because now the send message is going to be learn more. So what you're going to say at the end of the video you're going to say, hey, guys, I have the other nine tips in my 2021 seller guide. So if you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. So now all you're doing, man, is you're educating people on what it takes to sell. You're giving people tips on what it takes to sell, but you're not giving me all 10 tips. You're not giving me the full 45 minutes listing presentation. You're giving me pieces of it. And the call to action at the end of the video is to download your learn more to go get all the other tips. Because you have it all in this 2021 seller guide. Okay. And so I have a bunch of seller guides. Did I send you all the seller guides I have? Have I sent you that? I, I didn't see it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll email you. I, I have a handful of seller guides that I can send you just so you can look at and get an example, like get an idea of what a seller guide is. If you don't have one already, you may have one already, but... I have a ton of clients that I can, I can send you, you know, examples and, and all it is is a PDF, a five page, a, a two page, a 10 page, some PDFs that I have are, are 15 pages, but it's just, it's just a, it's just a seller guide. It's just information on what it takes to sell. Okay. So, uh, uh, you want me to make one, right? No, I want you to just simply look at the ones that I'm going to send you. And then, and then maybe just pick out, may, maybe pick out one that you, that you like. And then what we can do is we can have a designer for like 20, like 20 bucks, 15 bucks. They can just rebrand it to you. Okay. Sounds good. So put your name, your headshot, your contact information, and now it's your seller guide. And that okay. becomes your bait. That is your bait. That is what you use to capture leads on social media. You're educating people on what it takes to sell and you're giving them a free seller guide. And once that person clicks on that seller guide, they enter their name and email. Now they're in your CRM receiving emails regarding scheduling an appointment to talk to you regarding listing. 
So okay. that, that that's what we're going to continue to learn as we move forward. But there's a few different components to to all of that. But that's what we're going to you know go over on on our next calls. But that's that's the overall strategy is is just to get in the get in the habit of dropping a new video every week. And all you're doing is you're talking about what it takes to sell, what it takes to sell tips on what it takes to sell, renovating my kitchen, renovating the, the landscape, you know, new roof, adding solar and what solar would bring to the value of my property when I go and sell it. All these little random things that you know on what it takes to sell someone's house, what they need to prepare for, how to, how to stage it properly, all the different shit you know, bro. You know all this stuff already. Now, now it just comes down to putting all this knowledge into short one-minute videos with a call to action to download your seller guide. So, so now you come onto Facebook, you come onto social media by educating people. That's how people are going to fall in love with you. They fall in love with you because they see the realness of this video. There's nothing, there's nothing polished. There's no Hollywood production. It, there's no camera crew. There's no professional lighting. This is, this is as raw as it gets on your cell phone. That's social media marketing. So people are going to gravitate and, and, and fall in love with you just because of how real it is. But they're also going to fall in love with you because you're actually educating them when no one else is, man. No one's educating no one. Everyone's just pitching how awesome they are and how they'll list your house tonight and have it sold tomorrow because they're so badass. And they're doing a video with their Louis Vuitton bag and their freaking Bentley behind them. You know, like, like don't be that agent. Be the educator. Educate people on what it takes to sell and then give them something of value for free. That's the seller guide. And, and that's how we capture the lead. And then it's the, it's the back end, it's the email automation, which I'll go over on the next few calls, but it's the email automation that gets people to schedule appointments with you. Okay. Um, so, do I need to come up with some drip campaigns or do you have any? Come up with some what? You know, like uh, drip campaigns. Oh no, bro. I have, well, you, you know, exactly what, like, you know exactly what to say already. Like if, if you were to write a handful of emails, you know exactly what to say. But I have I have a handful of emails already written and, and you okay. can simply edit and and put your personality and, and and you know change it. But I have a simple example, a simple layout of a drip that that I'm gonna I'm gonna connect that I'm gonna send you for sure. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So so now now that we have the video set up, now let's X out of the top left, not the not the tab, but right here in this little window to right here. Yeah, perfect. So now the ad is up. Now it's in review and, and you'll get an email later on. So what you'll do now is you'll X out the one selected, one selected, one selected, X out of those blue uh, tabs. Yeah, perfect. So one selected, one selected, one selected. So that's the video. So now if you click on, so these are the tabs I keep talking about. Campaigns, ad sets, ad. Those are your three tabs. So so now if you click on the campaigns uh, tab, um, yeah, the campaigns one, You'll, we'll go back to the beginning right there, campaigns to the right, the first tab. Scroll to the right, or yeah, to the right a little bit. The tab campaigns right there at the top. Oh, right here? Perfect. These are your tabs. So campaigns, ad set, ad. These are your tabs. So that one right there, intro video, that one's in uh, scheduled, and, and that one's ready to go. So now we're good there. Now here's what you want to do. This is what you want to get in the habit of for every video, really every video ad, every ad, every ad you want to get in the habit of, of, of doing what I'm going to show you right now. Once we set it up, now it's in review. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the dots to the left and we're going to go to audiences. As I, right yeah, click on the dots and then go to audiences. Two, two reasons why most fell with Facebook ads. Number one reason I gave you number one reason is the lack of, of content. Most people don't keep putting out content. They, they, they don't get in the habit of doing a new video every week. That's number one. They lack the content. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they don't create custom audiences. When it comes to, when it comes to basic advertising 101, a person has to see your message. A person has to see you multiple times before they ever click. Like they have to see you. They can't just see one freaking ad and click and give up their phone number and all their damn information. It doesn't happen that way. That's not advertising at all. They have to see your message multiple times and that's custom audiences. So what most number two reason why most fail, they, they don't set up custom audiences. And this is the most important, man, because this is who you're retargeting. So you always want to get in the habit of once you set up an ad, always make sure there's a custom audience set up around it. So in this case, we're going to set up a custom audience around the intro video. So go ahead and click on the blue button, the create audience. 
and then go to custom audience. We'll do the custom audience one. And all we're going to do, these are all the different custom audiences, but I'll, I'll, I'll cover more of this on our next call because we're going to go into, into detail of custom audiences with website. With website and customer list, I'm going to show you how to do some, some good custom audiences around that. But right now, we're going to just do this one video. So click on video, and, and um, we'll, go, we'll go in depth, in detail, click on next with all these custom audiences on our on our on our not the very next call but the call after that that's when we'll go into real detail about all this all this but right here we'll just set up the intro video for now so the engagement go ahead and click on that drop down that's where you choose the the either the time or the percentage so if it's a 50 sec a 56 second video then we can go off of maybe maybe I don't, I don't really do three, 10 or 15. I, I normally go 25. If a person watches 25% of a 56 second video, that's a, that's a good amount of time. Like that, that's longer than 15 seconds. So go with that one. Always go with 25% of the video. And then what you'll do is you'll click on choose videos right there at the top, choose videos um, in the right, right there at the top. Yep. Choose videos. And all you're going to do is you're going to choose that one video. So you'll want to hit the drop down and go to the other Facebook page. So you have a couple different pages. So to the right, choose that drop down where it says Fast House Exchange. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was so right there. And we'll go to the other page. Perfect. And then just choose your video right here. Check the box and then confirm. Okay, perfect. So right here. And then all we're going to do is just give it a name. So the audience name, intro video. And then just like you did with the other one, uh, put uh, – in parentheses, 25%. So now again, this will be an audience that we can always retarget in the future. This is going to be a good audience. So, and the 365, that right there is just, is just, is just telling Facebook, anyone who has watched it within that time period, put them in this audience, even though that video hasn't ran for that long at all, but 365 is fine. And so go ahead and click on create audience. Okay, perfect. And then done. And then that's it, man. So, so as we go and run our next ad, we can always retarget that audience intro video. Um, and then the cash, the cash buyer video, was that an ad or not an ad? No, you, uh, I don't know if you remember. We um, did that one, right? Yeah. On, yeah. on one of those phone calls, you, you were trying to yeah. show me what we're doing now. Let's and... delete that one. Okay. Yeah, let, let's delete that one. Cause we don't, we don't need that one. Um, you'll all, you'll only, yeah, click on delete. You'll only want to do custom audiences around it. In this case with video, you'll only want to do it on custom audiences on video around videos that you actually run an ad to. Okay. Right. Because, because everybody who watched that video is in Wesley chapel. But if I just, if I just posted a video on my business page and I have, you know, 300 people who like my page, but they all live across the country, then I don't want to retarget them. You know what I mean? Like I only want to retarget these people because they watched my video because I know I targeted them because I ran an ad on it. Right. So that's why in this case, that intro video, we know that those are Wesley Chapel people. So it's worth it to retarget them and create an audience around them, you know, for the future. Okay. So, so that's video ad bro. And that's, that's custom audience. So let's let this one run. And then what we need to do in the meantime is I'm going to email you some seller guides because that's where we need to be at right now is, is we need to get our hands on a seller guide. Um, okay. That, that, that's our bait. That's what we're going to use to, to, to capture leads. So I'll email you a handful. And then, um, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll also email you a video because I'm, I'm going to walk you through some details on how to hire a freelancer um, for very, very cheap, very, very cheap, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, very, very cheap to simply – redesign the, the the pdf for you okay so and I, I have a very detailed video showing you how to do that so i'll email you that here um and then i'll email you today's today's training i'll email it to you tonight and then um let's let's get our hands on a seller guide and then and then let's schedule our next call after that okay quick question yes <clears throat> um not right now but let's say in the future mm -hmm. right i decide to also uh, drawn after Spanish speaking. Yes. Uh, yes. People. Mm -hmm. uh, do I, do I, do I, it, is it better to create it a new business page or just run it from the same one? Very good question. Same one. No, no need for a new one. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good question. Same one, man. The, 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 the post, it would just be a same post, but the, the video is in Spanish and the, the text is in Spanish. And, and then as we go and run the ad, we, on the language, we choose only Spanish speaking. Okay. And that's it, man. Simple, simple. And that's why, man. Yeah. That's, that, that would be a very good market, man. Very, very good market for you because that's, that's, that's you, you know what I mean? So that's what we got to start well, running I, as well. Well, to be honest, I, I, I actually, uh, you know, I would like to run both. Let's do both. Let's do both. Let's do both. Okay. But but stay on the topic of selling. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 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 now what we may need to do is is get get a seller guide and get it translated. You know, like I have a bunch of these seller guides that I'm going to email you, but they're all in English. So maybe maybe we can we can find one find someone. Um, I could I could for sure find someone for a few bucks and have them translate the whole thing to Spanish. Okay, sounds good. I mean, either way, if not, I, I can translate it. But you know, I don't want to. That's just stay. that's just too much work. Yeah, that, that might be a lot yeah, of work, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially if it's like a ten-page, you know, PDF. Like that's kind of a lot of work. But it's up to you. I'll email you, and then and then and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay, buddy. I'll send you the training here shortly, and then um, let me know if you need anything. I'll be a, I'll be a message away. Okay, just before you leave. So I so you want me to um. So the, the next thing will be just to pick up a, a seller guy and then do I go based on the seller guy that I pick and create those videos? Let's once let's get the seller guide first and once we have that PDF with, with your name on it, your face on it, then we'll talk after well, then we'll talk we'll talk on our next strategy. But yes, your your next video is gonna be based on the seller guide. Your next video is gonna is gonna simply have a call to action. All you're doing for one minute, two minute, whatever, you're talking about, you're giving me a tip on what it takes to sell. And then at the end of it, you're saying, hey, guys, I have this 2021 seller guide that I'd love to give you for free. If you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my web page where you can download your free copy. Okay. That's it. Like simple, man. You're giving me tips on what it takes to sell. And you're telling me to click learn more to go download my free copy. Yeah, but now, now you you only want me to to go to cover one topic at a time, right? One topic at a time. So, so at a, at a, again, if we sat down for coffee and you have 25 different ways to sell my house, give me one way in each video. Okay. So there's 25 videos, one way each video. Hey guys, and by the way, here's one tip out of my 25 that I wanted to share with you. This is what I have in my seller guide, but let me tell you one, one tip that you can really use to help sell your house fast. And then at the end, again, by the way, guys, I put together a 2021 seller guide that you guys are going to absolutely love. If you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. Okay. Sounds Simple, good. man. Simple. So, so have fun with it. Keep them short. And, and, and videos like that indoor are really, really good. But as you start to do more videos and especially talking about selling, going outdoor and walking through a neighborhood, that's good too. Yeah, that's uh, that, that was another another thing that I was planning on doing, but I yes. think on the first one I wanted to be oh, yeah. when there was a lot of noise. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. That that first one's a good one right there with the background of the, of the of the calendar of the board. That's that's a good one. So just in the future, you can start playing around with it. And and when when a person sees a video on Facebook or on anything really, when they see a hey, video yeah. and you're moving, it's really good. So so quick question, okay. So uh, let's say on the first topic we talk about um, uh, what is it? <sighs> my God, I lost my I lost my <laughs> my thought. Anyway, talking about we, we, talking about, uh, about no, no. Let's say we talk about curve appeal, right? Let, let's say the the first the first topic is curve appeal, yes, right? And you know. I, Another thing that I can do is maybe go to a model home and just in, in, in front of the house, you know, talk about the curb appeal. And I think that will be. Bro, that's exactly what, I, what I'm saying. So that's exactly okay. like if you go out to a neighborhood and you're walking around talking about a property and, and that's that's the video, that's the background of the video. Those are going to do very, very good, man. Very, very good. Okay. Sounds good, buddy. Yes, bro. So have fun with it, man. And, and, and let's set up our next call as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, send me that. Uh, send me that. Uh, uh, that email with the uh, yes. seller, seller, and uh, and that good. way I can uh, pick one. And now, so if you can send me the video and Perfect. the first video, if you don't have it, just send something that, just so I can have it as a memory. I sure will. I sure will, bro. Bro, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye bye.